Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 46 of my Java video tutorial series. Today, we're going to do something really cool. I'm going to introduce you to JDOM2, which is going to make it extremely easy to write and read from XML files. To get the library, you're just going to need to go to JDOM.org right here, and then click on Binaries under Downloads. And then this is the guy right here that you're going to want to get. Click on that. And it will download JDOM 2.0.2. .2. It's a zip file. Then you want to open that up and whenever you open up that zip file you're gonna see all these different little guys here and there's JDOM where this is gonna be the guy that you're gonna use this is the jar file then you're gonna jump into Eclipse and install it so you can use it so here I am in Eclipse right now so to install JDOM so you'll be able to use it and I'm just gonna to go to Java code here that's what my directory is called wherever yours is called I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna scroll down until I see build path then I'm gonna come over here and click on configure build path and in my situation, I already have it installed, but if you didn't, how you would install it is just go to Add External Jars, and then you're going to go to the Unzip directory for JDOM, and this is the guy that you want to select right there. And then, of course, you're just going to hit Open, and that is all you need to do there, and that is going to throw JDOM in here for you to be able to use inside of your programs. And then once JDOM is opened up, you're going to see inside of Eclipse something called Reference Libraries, and JDOM is going to be one of those reference libraries. Now, if you want hints in regard to what the source code means which is going to help you out a lot and there's all the different things you get you're going to want to right click on that and then go to build path and then come over here and go configure build path and you could have did this previously but source attachment is what we're going to want to get and specifically what you want is jdom 2.0.2 sources.jar now your version number might be slightly different than mine and if it says none which it probably does you just want to click on that and then hit enter and then come over here and find external file and you want to find jdom dash da 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 sources.jar and then you'll have all of your code hitting all right now let's start programming with it so I'm just going to come in here to my default package right click go file new and then I'm going to create Java lesson 46 dot Java all right so here we are we're ready to go okay so we're going to be working with files so we're going to need java.io dot file so that we can use this class to represent a system file that we're going to be using and then we're going to go import java.io dot file out stream which is going to allow us to write data to a file because we're going to be writing and reading data from an XML file and anytime you need that you're going to go java.io.exception because you know you're more than likely going to have some sort of exceptions in your IO and make sure you put IO in there and then you're going to need to get the document specific version for JDOM2 so we're going to go org jdom2.document and that's going to just allow you to represent your XML document and also of course it contains a whole bunch of useful methods we're going to be using. Import again, JDOM2, and this is the element version inside of JDOM. And again, it's going to help you be able to work with the elements that you're going to pull over here. Then you're going to have your topmost JDOM exceptions handled by this guy. And we're going to be working with text here. So we're also going to have to get the text representative for JDOM as well. And there that is. And then... I normally don't do this, but I just wanted to explain to you all the different libraries that are available and I'm going to be using in this tutorial. Well, then we're going to need a way to create our JDOM document, and that is going to be parsed using SAX, just like previously I've done. And SAX stands for Simple API for XML. There we are. Now we can parse all that information. And then we're also going to use a formatting device that's inside of JDOM, which is going to help us make our XML file look nice whenever it's saved. And then finally, the last library is going to be org.jdom2. Output and this is going to handle the outputting of the JDOM document to a file whenever we have everything set up the way that we want it set up. And that's XML Outputter. And of course, you're going to see all these demonstrated. Well, then, just like always, public class Java lesson 46. And I'm mainly going to be using two different methods to handle all this stuff. So I'm just going to go write XML. That guy's going to be right there. And then I'm also going to read from an XML file. So I got to create those two guys. And you're going to be amazed at how simple this is. Of course, I have to write before I can read. So I'm going to get this guy first. Call this method down here. And private static void write XML. Okay, the first thing I need to do is come in here and create my JDOM document that I'm going to be playing around here with. So just real simple document. And this is just going to be the XML version of 
a document that I'm going to be able to manipulate inside here. You've seen this all before. Then I'm going to create an element named TV Shows. I'm going to be using the same sort of format as I did with all my other XML tutorials. So if I want to create a root, of course I can call it anything. I'm just going to call it the root. And I just come in here. And if I want to put a new element inside of this document that I have here, and I just got to give it a name right like that. And then I just need to go doc. I'd like to set my root element to the root that I just created. See, everything's just an element, and it's it's pretty easy. to Once you work with this, it gets pretty easy. Then if I want to create any other additional elements inside of here, like I want to create show, well, I just create a new element, or show. And if I also remember show, there's going to be a bunch of show elements that are going to contain a whole bunch of other different things. And if I'd also like to create a name, because that's going to make sense, because each show is going to have a name, I just do that. It's that simple. If I decide that I want to assign an attribute to name, I just go name set attribute. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself here. And then I just tell it what I want the attribute name to be, which is going to be show ID. If you haven't seen my XML tutorial, it'll really help you understand here because I'm basically recreating that XML file in this guy right here. So there you are. I just created an attribute that's going to be assigned to the name element. It's going to be called show ID and it's going to start with the value of show one. If I want to add text between the name tags, also very simple. I just go name, add content, a new text. And if I want to put a TV show in there, I just go life on Mars. Or whatever and there you are now the name element has a name it has an attribute the attribute value and it also has text in between the tags throw in another element i can keep throwing elements in here over and over and over again so let's throw network in here and just that simple just give it the name network and then i'm just going to copy this guy right here all together and then just set this to network instead of name and this is going to be country and this is going to be the u.s version of life on mars and then here, the network name is ABC. There you go. Now, if I want to add, see, remember, I'm going to have only one TV shows, which is the root. And then I'm going to have multiple shows that are also going to contain all of this other name and network and all that other different data. So if I want to have multiple shows, I need to take these other elements and assign them to this element and then assign that to TV shows, which is the root. Sounds complicated, but it's not. All I need to do is go show, add content and then say what content I want to add, which is going to be name and network. So I just assigned those two elements to go inside of the show element. And then if I want to put show inside of root along with all of its children elements, I just go the root and go add content and throw show inside of there. See how simple that is? Pretty easy. And then if I would want to come in here and create another show, well, that's real simple. I'm just going to copy this. There's no reason to go and do anything crazy. Come right after here and put a little divider in here so I know where my shows are starting and ending. And of course, you could throw this into a method, make it a little bit easier. So I'm just going to change just the show too. Change this to name too. I'm going to leave these, the element names are still going to be show and name. I'm just going to give them a different element name inside of my code here because I have to. Change that to two. This is going to be a second show. So I'm going to put a two inside of there. Two there. Actually, because I'm describing two different shows with the same name, I'm going to leave that the same. This is going to be network two. This is still going to be called network. Change that to network two, except this is going to be UK instead of US. Network two, BBC. Show two is going to be the same. This is going to be the same. Change that to two. Change that to two and the root that's going to add in the second show. Okay, so I'm almost ready to output. All right, now what I need to do is I, if I want to use nice indenting, this is how you do it. You go XML, and you're going to see what I mean by nice indenting here in a second. You go outputter XML output is equal to new XML outputter, and then go format dot get pretty format. And there you go. It's going to make the XML file look nice just that little bit. And then to actually output it, I need to create a new file. So I'm going to go XML output, output, and then I have to say the doc is what I'm going to be working with here. And then I need to go new file output stream. And I need to say where I want to output to file. And then this is going to be different on your computer, but I'm going to go source. And I'm going to call this JDOM made since JDOM made it. Throw a semicolon in there. And how about we give a little message whenever it's written. And then of course, I'm going to come up here to the top need to throw everything in a try block because it could signal an error because I'm going out to a file that might not exist. Come down here, close off my try block. And then just to be lazy, I'm going to go catch E exception. EX tab in and go EX print stack trace. And then bounce up inside here, go public static void main string just like always args and let's file save it and execute it and you can see over here in the console it says wrote to file let's go see if that's right and if you come over here on the left side of the screen you can see jdom made open that guy up 
And there you can see exactly what it did. It created the XML file and threw all that information in there for us, and it looks exactly the way that we want it to look. Now, if we want to do something even cooler, like read from that file, I'm just going to mark out write XML, and all the code here is available in a link underneath the video, and I'm going to create read XML. So I'm just going to highlight this guy right here, bounce down here, and let's create it. Well, it's going to be created same way, private, static, void, and then my file, and let's start writing some code. Okay, well I need to parse all this data that is in our newly created XML file, so I'm going to need to call Sax Builder, create a new little builder here, go new, Sax Builder, simple enough, and then I'm going to be playing around with files, so i got to throw it inside of a try block, of course, and I need to parse the file that's supplied into a JDOM document so I can work with it, document, and I'm going to call this read doc, and then I'll just go builder, dot build, and then I'm just going to go new, file, and I'm going to point at the file that I previously created, that's in the source directory, JDOM made, dot XML, right like that. And if I would like to print out the screen, the root element, pretty simple, print line, root, JDOM makes working with XML files very simple. JDOC, git, root, element, and there you are, that's exactly what that guy's going to do. And you'll see that in a second. If I want to get the text that's found between the name tags, maybe, I'm just going to go system out, print line, of course, you could assign these to a variable if you don't want to work with them that way. And go show. I'll bounce down to the next line, make this easier. And I just need to work with my document that I have here in memory. And I'm going to go read doc to get that. And then you just pretty much walk your way through the element tree that's created. So get the root element. And then I go get child, which is going to be inside of TV shows. And it's going to be called show. And get child text from name, which is inside of here. Just go like that. Make sure you keep your cases exactly the same. And that's exactly what that's going to do for me there. Of course, spell system right. There we go. So that's going to output the text that's found between the name tags. And if I would want to get the attribute value for, or let's say show ID that's assigned to name, Pretty simple. Just go read doc again, get root element, walk your way through the tree again. So get child that has the name show, and then you want to get child that has the name name, right like that. And then after that, you go get attribute value of show underscore ID. And then at the end of that, I'm going to throw in a new line because we're going to do something here different. And to show you what all that looks like, let's just get rid of this try block and let Eclipse complain so that I can go and have all my exceptions created for me. Drift over the red part, surround with try multi-catch. Boom. Pretty easy. Put that on a separate line. And if we execute that, you can see that it printed out the root, which is going to be TV shows. It printed out the first show that shows up and the show ID for that show. So let's say we want to print out everything and cycle through all the children and shows and print them out the screen. To keep life a little bit easier, I'm going to go element root is equal to read doc dot get root element. So that's going to make my life a little bit easier. And I could do the same with all these other guys, but I'm not going to right now. And then I'm going to go for element le, and then I'm going to go root dot get children of show and cycle through these guys and print them out on the screen. So I can go system out, print line, and say we want to print out show name, and this is an enhanced for loop. You've seen that a whole bunch of times, so I'm not going to get into that. And then if I want to print out my show, I just go qrele dot get child text, and then say I want to get whatever lies between the name tag. Pretty simple. Get to copy this, boom, and I could also print out my show ID. And I just need to change a couple things here. I'm going to go get child and get name and then say get attribute value named show id close that off and what the heck get network as well so in this situation change this to show name and i'm actually going to write a sentence here so i'm going to type in on and put a space inside of there leave this exactly the same except in this situation i'm going to say network plus sign in there and then go space in the leave that the same and then i'm going to separate this down here and get rid of this whole entire thing right there. And then go get child. And in this situation, I'm gonna get the network dot get attribute value. And in this situation, that's gonna be country, right like that. And let's throw in a new line as well, just to simplify that, make it look a little bit neater on the screen. And if we execute that, you can see on the right side of the screen that it prints out what it printed last time, of course, but then it prints out real nice and easy here, life on Mars, show ID, show one, which is the ID number for that. And then it's gonna print out this sentence. However, I don't like how this is on a separate line, and I know why, it's just a little slip up. Let's come in here and change that from print line to that. And there you go, now it looks a lot neater. So that is JDOM2, leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.